Hi everyone, Rob Rashad here from Fortinet. And I'm here with our top three winners from our Ultimate Fabric Challenge Global Championship that took place at Accelerate 2022. Throughout the year last year, we had a series of expert summit sessions around the world, and we had our Fabric Challenge uh, competitions at those uh, regional events. Uh, throughout those uh, events, we had the top qualifying teams uh, at the gold, silver, and bronze level, all qualify for our global championships that just took place. So we do have the winners of that competition here, and I'd like to give them a chance to just introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about their background, uh, what company you're from, and uh, your current role and and NSC level. So, uh, Rafael, let's uh, let's start with you. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Rafael. Uh, I'm from Brazil. I work in Protega Consulting Security. Uh, there I am a network coordinator. Uh, I work with Fortnite products since 2010. Uh, and actually I have all the certifications from NSE one to seven, and I am intent to get the NSCH as soon as possible. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I'll uh, move on to, to Bart. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Bart uh, from the Netherlands, uh, company Pinewood. Um, security consultant there. Um, worked a little less long than Rafael with uh, Fortinet. Um, I'm also NSC7. And yeah, this year should be NSC8 year. Uh, and, uh, and Ben. So my name is Ben Liure. I work for one of Fortinet's distributors in Australia called Ingram Micro. I've been dealing with Fortinet products for about the last six or seven years now. I'm uh, NSE 7 is my highest NSE certification, but I'm also uh, a certified trainer for NSE 4 as well. Welcome to all of you. And uh, you know, I think it's really great that our three top winners of the, uh, the global uh, championships represent people from around the globe. We really have great representation here internationally. So just to tell everyone a little bit about uh, the Fabric Challenge, the Ultimate Fabric Challenge, this is a very intensive competition that lasts about three hours uh, where all of our competitors have to solve a series of objectives to build as secure a network as possible using Fortinet products. And uh, they're running against the clock, they're running against a very, very skilled team uh, or competitors in the room in a, in, a, in a tense environment. And particularly in this global championship, one of the differences that we had was uh, uh, people, rather than working in teams, which was the case through our qualifying events, uh, the competitors here at the global championships were competing individually. So they really had to show their, their stuff. And uh, as I said, we've got the top, uh, the top three place winners here. This is our inaugural global championships. Uh, so again, congratulations to all three of you. Uh, and again, Ben, let me ask you, uh, you know, can you tell us a little bit about how you prepared for the championship? So in my role at Ingram Micro, I'm a solution architect. So I do a lot of presentations and delivering the sort of uh, enablement sessions to partners. So the, the 40 demo SD-WAN is, is one that's very, very popular and, and I run that a lot. So I'm very familiar with the interface from there. So that was one of the things I ran. Also part of the, the presentation and the package that we got with the email had some links to, to some documents, um, some uh, document guide about what's new in 7.2, which was a new experience for me because I haven't done touched 7.2 at a 40 manager level yet. So reading through those last night, uh, preparing last minute, sort of cram it in the brain, hope it all stays in there, that type of thing. I think, you know, that's another, uh, you know, challenge that we uh, that, that we put out there with this global championships was that it was all based on 7.2, which hopefully wasn't a big surprise for everyone, but uh, it really uh, added a, an element of, of challenge. Uh, so, uh, so Bart, what about you? Uh, how did you prepare? Um, well, I took a holiday in the US uh, before this, so I could really get uh, uh, accustomed to the time zone. And uh, that made it also possible to yesterday with my colleague uh, spend quite some time looking through uh, what was going to be on the, <coughs> on the challenge uh, 
so that was it. A commitment, taking a, taking a vacation and dedicating it to, to prep. Uh, so Raphael, uh, any, any uh, uh, preparation? To uh, yeah, actually for my day-to-day uh, -day work, and as I think that this should be running on 7.2, I read all the public documentation from FortiGate, Fort Manager, and and so on. So was a lot of nights without sleep <laughs> to prep. And uh, you know, I, I I'm just wondering, you know, with your you're all obviously working in the field every day, uh, you know, the um, the 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 field experience that you've gained throughout the years, you know, did that contribute to your success? Um, Bart, um, could, were you able to draw linkages between your, you know, your real world work and what you had to accomplish here in the challenge? Yes, certainly, uh, especially as it was a 40 manager uh, heavy uh, challenge. Uh, by working with that, you know the work, you know uh, where to find things and that, uh, that helped a lot at, uh, at this one. Uh, for sure. And what about uh, Ben? Let me ask you: your your NSE level, your your NSE seven. Uh, does your NSE level uh, help? Obviously, uh, you know, I, I'm quite sure it helped you in this competition. But what about your career in general overall? Has has NSE had an impact? And and if so, can you tell us a bit about that? It, it's helped to show my skills and my talents to my employer. So you know, it's been received well that I've gone and passed those certifications. Obviously, there are benefits for the employer to have that there it's, and, and have my knowledge. And it's a, an easy way to go and show anyone else that I'm dealing with, especially in my role when it's customer facing or end user facing, being able to say, yes, he's NSC7 and that's what that means. Then that's able to add some sort of credence to, to, to what I'm saying. So, yes, absolutely. And, and Raphael, right away, you, you mentioned that uh, you're going to obtain your NSC8 as soon as you can. Uh, you know, is there is there a motivation? That uh, yes, for sure. Uh, you know, uh, this, the NSC certification are all real from uh, real environment, real trouble, real issues. So it's very important to to get this knowledge and for sure to to get the the stamp. Oh, you know, I am NSCH for sure. So as we go into 2022, the expert summits where we had our regional qualifiers last year, we'll be doing the same. Uh, we'll have uh, partners from around the world competing, uh, hoping to qualify for the global championships. Uh, any specific you, advice you would give to anyone, you know, first off, who's, who's going to be competing at the regional expert summits, and then you know, those that, that may qualify and come to the global championships, uh, you know, based on your experience, both at the qualifying events and here at the global championships, uh, any any advice you would you would give, uh, Bart? Let's start with you. Um, yeah, like the prep we did, uh, make sure you know the new features. It's always a showcase of the new things, so know those well, uh, know the products well, um, and uh, yeah, keep going. Uh, it was a very um, um, Interesting challenge, uh, and the scores were close. People uh, shifted a few times, so yeah, keep trying. Uh, it's very possible in the end to uh, catch up uh, if you're uh, yeah, lucky. Don't give up. I, you know, I think uh, I think this was the closest scores we've ever seen, which uh, I guess maybe you would expect in a global championship. So, uh, Ben, what about you? Any advice you would uh, you would give? In preparation. The, other than the usual study the material and, and understand that, obviously attend webinars about what's new is there's a bunch of um, programs that are offered out there called Fast Track that are either offered by Fortinet directly or through distributors uh, like ourselves. We offer them out there that cover t technology sets. So it's a you know it's a, an hour or 40 minutes worth of uh, PowerPoint slides to to get you in the, uh, the the groove of what's happening with the technology, and then it's lab time for you to get to play and get your hands on. And I think that. Uh, hands-on time in that sort of situation and understanding those uh, set lab environments can also help because jumping from one scenario to another is always tricky and uh, 
being able to accommodate and catch up with those details is very, very useful as well. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed out that the fast tracks. I mean, that is a that's a resource that's available around the world, and you know, it, they're free workshops. So glad you pointed that out. Uh, and Raphael, any any advice that you would uh, like to share? Sure. First, study hard because in the next, I will be there. Uh, just a, a joke. <laughs> but as my friend said, uh, stud, uh, have a look on all the public documentation that Fort ha Fortnet has a lot. It's very helpful and it's all about new stuff. Uh, so if you catch up all the new stuff, you are going to be good. And, you know, here's an optional question. I won't put anyone on the spot, but does anyone want to share uh, ideas of what, uh, what, you, what you think you might do with the prize money? I heard someone talk about maybe upgrading to business class on the trip home. <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that was me because I've got a 17-hour flight home, so I was umming and ahhing already because uh, the trip here was slightly uncomfortable, so I might be doing that, but I'm also looking at um, house renovations at the moment, so it'll go straight to the, the kitty for that, that's for sure. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I have no idea because it was unexpected to me, so I, I didn't think about yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were asked in the, the questionnaire also to give something, and I went for charity, so that's probably what it's going to be. Uh... Oh, interesting. Good, good. Great to hear. Well, listen, guys, you know, thanks very much for taking the time to, to do this interview with us. I know you guys just finished the challenge, and you're, you're probably uh, looking forward to a little bit of rest and relaxation after that. And uh, I hope to see you all back at the expert summits. Uh, you know, you, you've won the titles this year round. Hopefully we'll see you back defending your titles next year and, uh, and keeping everyone on their toes. So again, congratulations to, to, uh, to the three of you and to your companies as well for investing the time and effort uh, to, to participate at the expert summits and here at the challenge. So congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.